So I posted a video about 30 minutes ago about the EcoFlow Delta Pro not being able to charge my Tesla. And I was so confused because we were only using the ground in two hots. The neutral was not connected at all. But my viewer said to try it anyways. So what I did is I took the NEMA 1450 adapter and I made my own cable and this bonds the grounds and the neutrals. And then the hots are still connected as before. And it actually works. We're running at max capacity. Check this out, we're pulling 3,000 3,600 watts over here and 3,600 watts over here, which is absolutely nuts for a solar generator. This is so cool. And even though this is a simple solution, I do not recommend beginners try this. You are messing with high voltage and this could really hurt you. And hopefully in the future, maybe EcoFlow or another company could make this adapter because this should be plug and play. I want people to be able to charge an EV with their EcoFlow Delta Pro, but this is not a good solution and also now we know if you get rid of the neutral you can't run the EV charger so 650 which is my favorite we cannot use it with the EcoFlow Delta Pro but it does work we're pulling 32 amps and that thing's only rated for 30 amps but it's doing a pretty good job so I'm going to make an actual review video for these EcoFlow Delta Pros and I'm also going to try to run Bitcoin miners that run at 240 volts I have those cables coming and that will be a very interesting test but I must admit I'm pretty happy that this actually works because I really wanted a solar generator that can level two charge a Tesla. I'm gonna let them know about this and see if there's any safety issues that they can think of. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.